y'all welcome back to another episode and i am here with an update um we are back on saint john and making a lot of progress i'm here on the property and um it's sunday so we didn't have any workers here today um but they'll be here um tomorrow through friday hopefully we don't have any rain um and hopefully we have electricity um all week because that's been an issue last week they didn't work for two days because there was no electricity on the island um and we could have got a generator um but that was a little bit too much work to get a generator out here um but we have one now i'm back up just in case we have any power outages this week so all right, so let's go take a tour so you guys can see the updates. All right, here we are. This is the base of the retaining wall. The footing is all dry. They're gonna strip it this week and start going up with the walls. And you can see the steel is gonna, they're gonna build up the steel. Um, so hopefully by Wednesday, I'll have an update. Hopefully we can have some boards up in this area. And then when everything's up, we'll have it backfilled. But this is actually the way, the only way, not the only way, but the best way to get to the top of the slab. So I'm going to attempt to walk from here. Hopefully I don't fall because it's a little moist. It's been raining a little bit. I'm going to walk us on the side of the hill and then up to the slab and then give you guys a tour of how things are looking in the home. I could have gone through the bottom and then kind of climbed up to the front of the house. I did that yesterday, but that was a little bit more difficult. So um, I will be right back. All right, y'all, I'm up on top here by the house. Right here, you can see where we have the cutout for the window for the little bedroom area, a storage room, this little back room. We got some electrical running here. We got some plumbing going on here this is all the back of the well the inside of the wall for the right side this is where the shower stuff is going to go um, more plumbing then bathroom window we're going to make this a little smaller um came and when we laid out how the bathroom was going to go we realized that this window was going to be a little too big based on where we're going to put the vanity but i'll show you when we get inside Okay, let me climb over here. Whew. Okay. All right, let me get from this angle. This is going to be another window in the kind of the living room area. And then as you walk, there's going to be a column here, a little veranda area where we're going to have some outdoor furniture um there's gonna be a roof over and we'll probably put like a ceiling fan there another window so we are definitely gonna have a lot of windows um yeah so this is the balcony and then it just wraps around the house and then it'll eventually look like something once we backfill all right so let's go in this is going to be a ceiling what am i saying a sliding door here they're gonna kind of cut it out a little bit more i think we're gonna do like a maybe a five or six foot sliding door um malachi you get it in the video i'm sorry okay all right so walking in we're gonna have a space where it's gonna be can put this into a living room or a nice open storage area but we are going to have a little bathroom area here we were up here yesterday just kind of laying everything out with chalk to give the contractors a little bit more direction of what we want because we don't want a bathroom that's so big um that it takes up most of the space down here because really this is really just supposed to be storage but you know we want to be sure that it's uh, available to do other things so 
you see what we have the shower we have the drain for the shower then the door would kind of be on an angle here right so it's not built up yet because we're going to build up the sh the bathroom walls with sheetrock right with studs and sheetrock everything else will be concrete so you would walk into the bathroom kind of open the door here and then you have your vanity then your toilet area you can see the drain for the toilet there shower and then that's it really small bathroom um and then this would be more of a little common area sliding door this is where we came in and let's see back here it's going to be a door it looks a little tight now but they have to further cut it out it's going to be about 36 inches there um and so in the bedroom area you can see the walls are high we're doing 10 foot which i love this will be the bedroom area remember from the outside i showed you guys where the window is going to be so once the concrete is poured and the the framing is off you'll be able to see the big window here um but yeah the bath bedroom area is not too huge but like i said it will be between bedroom storage it really just depends on what we want to do we want to make sure the spaces are flexible um so as we grow um, we can change up a little bit of what we have to do with my sort out as a little bedroom area and then eventually be a storage for the villa then we have another opening here again nice tall ceilings or walls which will eventually be tall ceilings on top once we complete the slab so this is a small little room here on the other side of this wall is one of the cisterns and then there's another opening here and they haven't they're just kind of bracing it for now but they're going to cut it out it's going to be another walkway and that's going to lead in to another little area here and this one is a lot bigger than what you've just seen it's pretty long as well gonna be a window here and then a window here nice big windows I love love big windows I'll show you from the outside I'll show you guys how that window is gonna look it's easier to see it from the outside until we pour okay in and out you can see it. it's not like huge down here right the upstairs where the main villa will be will be a lot bigger but the porch like i said it wraps around so this is the back side of the room where i was showing you a lot this is going to be a big window you can see it's about four by six um even though it's a downstairs unit we wanted it to be pretty light spacious airy and there's going to be another outside door right here that's going into that room got it, some electrical running here we're gonna have a washer and dryer in that long room so all of this is the box for it all the plumbing is done electrical is almost done with the hopes that we will pour these walls in the next seven days crossing my fingers okay so last room downstairs is this one again the door needs to be cut out and framed out I'm just gonna stick the camera in here it's not too big of a room i don't I, I can't tell the dimensions but it's not huge again nice tall walls but this is going to be like the pump room utility room um so that will service upstairs and downstairs and then all along here is the cistern like i said we had one cistern in the unit and then we have two cisterns on both sides um say side by side i would say of the unit um those have been framed out and they're 
almost ready for concrete. Um, and then we still have this little yard space in front of the lower unit. Once we pour the concrete, um, hopefully we can get some grass growing. And I don't know what I'm gonna do with this space. I've thought of a fire pit. I've thought of just a herb garden and putting some grass. Let me know in the comments what you think I should do with this area. This was really unexpected to have this little area here, um, but I wanna do something with it, something where we can gather um, and have more outdoor space. So let me know in the comments what you think. All right, I'm gonna walk closer because I wanna show y'all just these wild papaya trees that have just been growing um, randomly. The soil is very rich on the property. So you have this one, hasn't bared as yet, but I'm gonna zoom into one that's right above one of the cisterns. This one is full of papaya. We've been getting, picking them at least daily. And then there's another one to the top top and one on the bottom. So the workers have been able to go home with papayas. So that's kind of been a good feeling to at least give them something. Well, we're paying them, but you know what I mean, to give them something to go home because it's way enough papayas for us when we're here, plus them, plus my dad, um, lots of papaya. So yeah, this is the update today. And like I said, the workers will be here tomorrow and I will um, be back with another video. Um, hopefully this will all be closed in tomorrow. Super excited to see where we are with progress tomorrow. All right. Well, thanks for watching. See you all in the next video.